Yeah, I was gonna ask you like who, like you know, you got the the, the OGs. Like who who was your mentors? Who was the people that you looked up to? Like when you started when you started out, like because I know you started you was playing football, but that's a different story. We're gonna talk about that too. But like, what made you like who was the people that you best of the best entertainment presets? Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. Yo, what's going down? It's your boy Sir Quinn from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got CEO of Slap House, originator, Milwaukee Sound. They say Milwaukee ain't got a sound, but I don't, I don't agree with that, yeah, man. Right you here, feel man. me? Sound right here, man. <laughs> man, yeah. thanks for coming to the show, man. Yeah. Man, formally introduce yourself, man. Man, tell you love, man. You know, up out of that Milwaukee for real, right? I got a shot to crib out there. I'm meal through it through though, man. You know, the, the real slap man, man, for real though. So, you know. Yeah, facts, facts. So, uh, who is Taylor? Like, you see what I did there? They YouTube. Yeah, so, you who is Taylor? Who is Who is Taylor? 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 Man, I'm a man first before anything, bro. And, you know, uh, a musician, I'm going to say, because I do it all. And, uh, you know, just. The real one, that's just how I look at it, man. The goat, the, 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 you know, I am what I am, but I always been a special motherfucker with whatever I did. So I just walk in that faith, bro, and just trust it. You know what I'm saying? Real that's spill. just how I move. Keep the positivity going and, and shit. You know what I mean? Let, let what's supposed to come to me come to me, bro. Real spill, man. We, we, I, y'all can hear it, man. He got the kid in the man. Real dedication, man. Real oh, dedication, yeah, man. man. So, where I go, man. yeah, for real, man. So, uh, where the name come from? I gotta ask, man. Where, where the uh, name? Uh, shit, I ain't have a nickname for a long time, but I played football, so they used to call me Rook, like, cause I was just the nigga since when I got to high school. I just started every sport, all that type of shit on varsity and shit. So when I got to college, I ain't really had no nickname for the music, bro. But motherfuckers used to always call me Tay Love, like you know, white people would give you a nickname. What? But they would say everybody love Tay though because I just was cool though. You know what I'm saying? Like I just fucked with everybody. I just was cool. Like I really ain't make that name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they was, I was hearing it, but if everybody love you, Tay. Tay love. They said, but it wasn't us. So I made it my Facebook name for a minute back in the day. Then I just was like, that's, that's sauce, name, bro. Though, that's baby. sauce. <laughs> yeah, like, that's sauce. They say though, you know, some titles just gotta be given to you, bro. So I think that's why you know. It could be it probably it's probably thirty million Taylors. Who knows? But I feel like no, nah, it's only two, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I look, I look, man. Oh, so man, so we ain't finna make this formal, man. So what's going on? Damn it, what's yeah, going on, working, man? Man, man I see know. you working, man. I just see you in the lab with Sauce fire, Walker, bro. man. Yeah, like, sheesh, man. How that how that happen, man? Tax, you know, that's brother. Eric, you know, bro, that's you know, me and Tax, we like. Let them know who Tax is, man. A lot of people oh, might yeah, not know who Tax is. Free, bro, that's you know, everybody know that's the go around this bitch, bro. Across the country, they know what's happening, bro. But that's my man, man. You know, I always keep a running mate. But I've been with Tax since this shit started, since he started, since I started. So the way this shit growing, it feel good. But you know, bro, being here since. They love it. They love the spill we got, so they been fucking with him. But so it was only right when they came to his turf. Yeah, facts. Let's go. Let's go work where you work, and that shit was that shit was natural, organic, bro. Cause I done brush shoulders with them niggas already, lightweight. So facts. It was easy. Bro. So how the, how the, how the relationship with you and Tax Free? How that how that come about? Um, I was in college playing football, and I was I was making shit for certain motherfuckers. But everybody went biting, but bro loved the ASAP. Went f just as fast as Re. Just as fast as uh fat, just as fast as they got on it, bro yeah. was on it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, you know, Cartier music, I did that. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah, so, yeah. Shit, since then he was the one. He used to just write me, bug me, and when I came home, anytime I was home, pull up on me seven in the morning, playing beats, riding, kidnapping me, couple days, him and Wayne kidnapping me, ride around. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it's like that's yeah. real love, bro. It ain't nothing fake, bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's real genuine love, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. In case y'all just now tapping in, man, we with the kid, with the man, yeah. Tay Love, man. We gonna ask him what made him start making beats right after this commercial break. Y'all stay mm -hmm. tapped in. Yo. It's back to school season. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client, and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Going down, man. We back off commercial break, man. What's going down, man? We kicking it with Tay Love, man. Yeah, man. Slap house with a Z. Yeah, Damn yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do it different, man. Yeah, facts. It can facts. only be one. Don't don't copy it. Every paperwork, everything is done for that shit. So. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Jeez, man. So this is a real business. So like, yeah, let's bro. let's start this. Let's take it from the beginning, man. Like, All what right. what made you start making beats? Shit. I played the drums and shit in middle school, all that, bro. But when it came to actually playing instruments, I don't know. I'm ambidextrous, so I do everything left-handed, and people didn't really. Or like, okay, well, everybody was doing it right-handed with the drums. I play, I play it the opposite way. When it came to playing the guitar, I kind of played it down there upside down. So, shit, I just was trying to figure out how to, you know, stand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. So, you know, motherfuckers, I got an older brother, so we been had a fruity loose, like fruity loose eight, shit like that. So, I, I couldn't stand people who been had fruity loose, bro. Like, cause, game, like I was, hey, in, you, I used to be. You so was one of those been had bro. fruity loose. But I wasn't on it. I used to be so bad, bro. Like, I just, I couldn't fuck with the computer when I got in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I uh -huh. was there around for a long time. And then when I got to, like, like the music for real, you know, live mixtape era and shit, I wanted to fuck with. I already had it. So, bro, it just really started then in high school. Like, I was, yeah, bro, trying to do that shit back then, bro. Like, bro, I'm talking about 10th grade. I remember I gave Black Aladdin a disc, a disc of beats. Cause he, back, he been rapping since... Yeah, shout yeah, out Black Middle Aladdin. school, bro. Yeah. I remember I gave him a disc of beats. I gave somebody that was close to BC the kid a disc of beats. You know what I'm saying? That's how we ended up getting back together later on. Because he like, where this nigga at? You get what I'm saying? You feel me? I yeah, ain't no two big football. names that you just mentioned from yeah, the city, bro, man. That's how long I've been. Man, listen, bro. I, I'm talking like, bro. I don't know. This shit meant, bro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, facts. For real, I've been around this shit, bro. I was around when. When folks was making Ghetto Hero and Powder and shit like that, you feel me? Like, baby, you oldest son is my cousin, like my like one of my first cousins. I used to stay over their crib when all this shit was going on. So I used to ask him for beat machines in middle school and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So I had an idea, bro, way whenever the fuck or what, what was going to happen. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was going to ask you, like, who, yeah. like, you know, you got the, the, the OGs. Like, who, who was your mentors? Who was the people that you looked up to? Like when you started, when you started out, like, cause I know you started, you was playing football, but that's a different yeah, story. We're going to yeah. talk about that too. But like, what made you, like, who was the people that you looked up to? Was like, All right. I couldn't, I didn't know nobody doing music in Milwaukee. Like I had cousins, I had a cousin, you know what I'm saying? My cousin Robbie, he used to rap and shit. He used to have CDs back in the day. My cousin Sosa, he used to get down, make beats. I used to sneak to his house and make beats once I got cold. I used to skip school, go to 10th Street, you know, 10th and Berlin, like making beats in the, in the crib, in his room. You know what I'm saying? So them niggas gave me like juice on how to work the- Hold on, you said you skipped school to make beats? Yeah, bro, do that shit. Like, bro, I'm talking like, for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna get into other shit, but until everybody wake up, we in this motherfucker party. Yeah, oh Facebook yeah, songs. facts. You get what I'm saying? And I'm gonna go back to school for the day over so I can get my bus ticket and go home. <laughs> real, Milwaukee bro. shit. <laughs> Milwaukee <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, but. As far as really being motivated when I got, I came home from a visit for playing football and Mac and Maul and Cal picked me up and took me to the studio for the first time. I ain't never been to a studio through all this shit. Took me to a studio. That's where I met Meech. Oh, so, so my dog, because I was going to yeah, ask you how this relationship how generated. Meech, but Meech wow. had, Meech had, Meech and DeVito had already been reaching out, like write me. Like I remember DeVito called me. When I was in school and I was just on some thugging shit, he called me in the middle of a mission 
and just told me like basically take this shit serious like when you pull up come get some sounds so when I came home, all that shit kind of happened like in the same like week, bro, because they was hearing this. shit. Please tell me you heard this first on Best of the Best, yeah. man. Oh, Jeez. Yeah, I don't think I said this shit. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, bro. So that shit kind of happened like in the same week. But when I pulled up on Meech, I never left. You yeah, know fast. Because Meech was like, Meech basically had a room ready for me and everything. Like he knew I was going to be there, bro. Like, and I, I forever... Tell him who Meech is, man. Producer tell him who Meech the nigga, bro. That's yeah. the nigga, bro. Like, yeah, tell him what, some of his accolades, man. Some Meech produced everything. Blessed, he did the whole blessed team shit. He, I don't think it's nobody he didn't produce, but he didn't record first from chicken first, from not even just chicken first shit. Like everybody, bro. Yeah, like, facts. like, like, like Meech is Meech, bro. The empty twins is Meech. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like facts. that. But you know what I mean? It's all love. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. that's how bro coming. So I never left from Meech, bro. But from there, I'm I'm meeting TK, and, and a nigga like TK is, you know, he real serious about what he do. But when he tell you to sit down and watch, or when he call you and tell you, hey, you fucking up, fix this, ooh, ooh, it's like, okay. I made it my business to spend as much time with them niggas as I could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still do to this day. If TK touch down, I'm trying to get. And you can hear that all in your production, too, yeah, man, because. Bro, all um, of that. Uh, you you in a pocket with your bass like how your yeah, bass slap yeah, you in a pocket man like something yeah, like that bro. man like that's I mean like you it, you you got yours you know what I'm saying but you got you got that mentorship yeah, too bro, you know bro. what I'm saying just having a natural cadence but then when they put structure to it you know what I'm saying and make you gotta grow because. They only gonna get better with mixing, so you gotta get better at when you sending them beats. You get yep. what I'm saying? Or when they got their off days Ooh, and they book, we, you don't want yeah. nobody to come to you and record and then want to take the files back to them. I'd rather you come here and you get the same quality versus you come here and record me. Got to take the files over here or vice versa. So being around them make you be like, all right, gee, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just. Get I, I really don't even want them to master my shit. I want my shit to sound yeah, master. Because then you develop a you, sound. Yeah. Now, now you get the shit you hear with tax. You get some of that Jeez. shit. You, everything you still hear with fat. The last three, four years, everything you heard with fat is still coming from the same engine. It's coming from one spot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that low end zilly, a lot of that most of that little action you get what i'm saying all of that shit was coming from one spot a lot of that chicken yeah. a lot of that a lot of everything folks i'll be going all day like everybody come through you get what i'm saying so everything book fair b right now like it's coming from one engine and it's getting a certain sound and i got that from them though you get what i'm saying that's Cause crazy you go to studio and it's high quality but it's not the same it ain't the same yeah, technique yeah. they use. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like. You ain't got that same frequency. You ain't got that same yeah, compression. Yeah, you ain't got that. You got to talk, man. So, yeah, man, in case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with Taylor. We'll be right back at this commercial break. Yeah. For fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. Located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut could experience on the cut app today or call 414-687-3940 remember for fresh haircuts fades and shaves with a smile contact donnie d styles see you soon yo yo thanks for tuning in after commercial break we're kicking it with tay love man so question bro who was your favorite producer when you started producing? Started. It got it. Of course, I just feel like it's Zay, because Zay ruled the world from like 05 to I don't know whenever you could say his range started. That was that Gucci age. Yeah, he was the was first. A, was a, he was the first nigga on camera doing that shit. So it was so easy to try to mimic that shit, right? But like as I like just got to listen to music more and more and more, you get to just hearing shit. So when I learned Pimp C made his own shit, he was one of my favorite, bro. Wait, hold on, I didn't know that. Pimp C, all that singing, that was all Pimp C. All the backgrounds, the high pitched voice, the mids, the lows, playing the organ. I gotta listen to that after all we leave keys, this interview. He played his own bass. Well, he had a bass player, but he played bass. You know, Pimp, I, I read Pimp C book. Pimp C was a classical singer, bro. Pimp C went to New York. Wherever the fuck they go to New York, the Mass Opera, whatever, Pimp C sung, and all of that shit growing up. You get what I'm saying? So, I didn't know that. Like me read, but like you gotta think, it's only a few books I read. Like I'm, I graduated college, I still ain't read a lot of books. I don't retain knowledge like that for real, right. for real. But 
Hold on, bro. You a you a, you a college graduate too, yeah, man? You know, I played four years, so I finished, bro. It Jeez, man, no we might as well. You know, Hold on, let's finish talking about Pimp C too, listen, man. Though, Damn, you got layers, man. Yeah, I read his book and Zay book. Them the only two books like I I really read through and through three, four times, bro. And them niggas was always around it. You get what I'm saying? Like Zay ain't from Atlanta. Zay took San Francisco to Atlanta. You get what I'm saying? Shit like that, but let's say you can't fish on dry land. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like Zay, Pimp C. Then when I try to, I never knew who was making shit in Milwaukee for real. You know what I'm saying? But when I learned, oh, Big Hank was making that shit for Baby Junior. I was big on Big Hank, and then just everything that was like the shit that I liked it though. I can't. It's just it's just for so many motherfuckers to say a producer because. At the wild, the sound of music changed, and every time it changed, it was a new nigga. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, so facts. That's what I don't know, but like to start off though, it had to be Zay and it yeah. had to be Pimp C. And the big thing though, they was playing that shit. So when I was mimicking what they was doing, I wasn't watching the YouTube video like now when I mimic how to click some, how to set the chord and put the chord there. I was mimicking them niggas moving their fingers all different type of ways, but I did it with the computer that you type on first. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it with the piano. He's doing it with shortcuts, bro. Basically, uh, but, but look, like the way uh, the piano Oh, uh, uh, he's talking about with the keys. You was doing actual, it. Like oh, yeah, I seen you work. I seen you work. Yeah, I seen so, your fingers. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> Super pause. You used to use that. You, I, I just learned that, like, if you change the grid, you can see what keys you hitting when you hit that. So when uh, I, when I, I think I was in college when I bought my first MIDI. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. From there, it just was like it just. Put That's me sick, bro. Me. So when you making your beat, instrument first or drums oh, first? Instrument, it's the vibe. I could do drums Jeez. all day, but my drums gonna switch so much. And like, I feel like, all right, if I set the mood, it set the bounce. So I can't really just. I don't know. Like I can't. I, I I'm not drum first. I don't. I, I just feel like setting the mood because. With the, with the with, with like loops and shit like that being so big today, if you could really play some shit and get a feeling out of that shit from really playing it, cause you was feeling that like or like when motherfuckers come through and I sit and I talk to a motherfucker, like they'd been to look up and I'd be done with that bitch cause yeah. they be talking. Yeah. You talking about some gangster shit, some yeah. terror shit, so what yeah. the fuck you talking about? I been to play that shit, so I feel like the sound gotta come first for me because. I'm going to set the mood. You know what I'm saying? But I'm facts. always going to bounce, though. Yeah, facts. I'm going to bounce regardless. Facts. But I feel like the mood is 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 is, is what's going to really enhance me putting the bounce on there, how I put the hi hats, what snare I use, you know what I'm saying, what 808 I use, certain shit ain't for everything. So Yeah, without, I, giving, without giving too much of the sauce, what's your go-to plug-in? Yeah, it's going to be a little... For the young niggas, expand is $10. Yeah. Ooh. So go get his fan. That's that motherfucker ten dollars. Um, it got every every everything you need, bro. It's two, yeah. three banks on that motherfucker. You can make your own. That's crazy, bro. Expand kinda to old us. too, man. That's crazy. I don't, but see, bro, I don't this... get into the gimmicky shit and I feel like that's what keep my sound where it's at. Like everything that's new that come out um, I ain't never had omnisphere. Y'all listen up certain shit, so a lot of the plugins I use is actual synthesizers that you can go buy. So I don't really use a lot of the new new shit. Yeah, I just and they get a little little enough time to perfect the sound too. I don't want to catch up to. I don't want to be playing catch up basically. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to just keep digging and making a new lane, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never heard nobody that wasn't from here not like my shit or get on my shit and not go as hard as they felt like they could. Mm. So if you get get that out of motherfuckers, I don't feel like it's for me to go, you know, do other things. Now I will buy some shit and do what I do with it. You know what I mean? And I think that's at the end of the day, I saw Snoop Dogg say that shit. He was in a room full of equipment with Battle Cat, DJ Quick. He's in a room full of all the motherfuckers. He was like, we could bring any nigga in here, but what is he going to know what to do with this shit? Damn. So me buying all of that shit don't really make 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 no difference. It's a learning curve too. Got platinum plaques off of playing one shot. So you know, it's but if you're a young nigga, bro, get his span, bro. His bells, his synthesizers, his pads, his strings, his keys, his bass guitars, his guitars. Get his span, bro. That motherfucker ten dollars, bro. Facts, facts. What kind of what kind of advice would you give a a young producer? Find somebody and, and, and get it to the mic, man. With this, find one. somebody and y'all go crazy together, bro. Facts. Find somebody and just lock in, bro. I was blessed to like when I got in and wasn't nobody. The veto was going hard, but the veto was 
was was was he was on his grown man shit at the same time with the music. Like I had to adapt to that too. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when DeVito was kind of relaxing on niggas for not being as serious as he was, he it kind of really opened a door for me. You get what I'm saying? To be Facts. heavy on making beats, making beats, making beats, making beats, making beats. It was like a nigga kind of gave you a torch because DeVito had Risco and, and and everything like stacking cheese and shit. Like DeVito had that shit. You get what I'm saying? So when he kind of like got on his grown man for real and wasn't worrying about chasing these niggas, it left a young, it left a room for a young nigga. So get you somebody and lock in with. I'm saying that to say I was blessed to have BC the kid when I came in. BC the kid, he gave me Lou Graham. From there, I was blessed to have Re. I was blessed to have Tax. I was blessed to have Fat. BHG came around. So many other mo. I can't. Foreign kid came around. His whole movement. Everything yeah. early loony. Go do your history, folks. Everything early loony. Looney and Boosie. That shit was. You yeah. know that shit came from the folks. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I was blessed to have all them niggas. Blessed team. That was like one of the biggest blessings. You know yeah, that was like one facts. of the first national things besides like the Lou Graham shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I was always put in a position to have some shit. Early to always have a nigga like chicken to always call no matter how big he is. You know what I'm saying? Certain niggas that still fuck with you is like I was blessed to have that. But for a nigga that's trying to find their way, chasing a hundred niggas that feel entitled, you gonna draw yourself crazy thinking your shit ain't cold. You gonna be thinking, thinking you ain't got the sauce. You gonna be thinking all type of shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So find you a motherfucker that you vibe with and you know your shit hard. I mean, majority of the masses telling you your shit hard and build on that. Bro. Yeah, build on that. Yeah, That's bro. what's Find happening. So like you me. uh you you rapping too, man. So like yeah. you being a producer, like how do you decipher between giving this beat out or sending it to the side for somebody yeah. or, or keeping it to your keeping it for yourself? Usually, if I'm finna, if I'm finna make a song, nine times out of ten, I'm doing everything right then and there. I ain't really thinking about nobody else. Okay, facts, you know what I'm facts. Saying? So it just keep me from being selfish. If I have a session where I done made four, five beats, I'm not keeping them motherfuckers, bro. Right. I'm not, bro. You know what I'm saying? But when I sit down and I got time to be in the crib and chill and I make something, I'm going in right there. <laughs> so the process of making a beat to finishing the song, I'll be done in 90 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And that's it, shit, because that be my vibe. I'm on my time. So it be like, that's how I like to You work. making this specifically for you. You like, okay, I got if this I'm on my mind. If I'm a play you get what I'm saying? Some of my beats that I do be simple as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It might not be what everybody else rap on, but I think when I make music, that's what make it be a little different than the traditional sound that I've given to everybody. It helped me expand my sound because now motherfuckers see I could do that, might want to fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's how that be going for real. Facts, facts. All right, we finna get in the mindset of Tay Love, man. We got our segment called Words real quick right after this commercial break. Y'all stay tuned. Yo, it's, Yo, it's best, best of the, of the best, best TV. We will be covering media at the All Female Takeover, 2023, October 14th, at the Gray Center, 250 East Juno, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Show starts at six. Doors open at five. Make sure you're there. Grab your tickets at Eventbrite. See you there. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Yo, thanks for still tuning in at the commercial break. We with Tay Love, man. We with our word segment, man. We're gonna have you spin the wheel three times. One time, though, but three times. All right. If that makes sense. And no, they personal don't. words. We're gonna have you spin it one time, three times. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. You spin it like, yeah. And then you tell us what you think about those words. The word. What you land on? Art. Art. Shit, everything you do is art. How you get dressed, how you get your hair cut, man. How you decorate your house. All that shit is art, man. You know what I'm saying? You either believe in it or don't. You understand what I'm saying? So, but I think that's just more of a mindset thing too, though. You feel me? But I think if you look at shit, it's just being unique and being your own artistic view. You, you, you will find yourself a little better type shit for real, though. Facts, facts. <laughs> he running the show, y'all. He oh, running the man. show. <laughs> what do you say? What's that? Longevity. Longevity. Man, I she's think, and you you've been in it for a minute, oh, man. God, but I think that's the key to believing in yourself. If if, if something can be long lasting and it's and it's doing good to you, then that's reassuring like a motherfucker. So that's how you can stay down on the G. Like longevity, I think. 
that's what I want, but I want to get something out of it too, though. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the key of longevity. Is just, if you're doing something for a long time, is is growing as you go. I don't think staying, be maintaining and doing some shit is really longevity. You just hold on. You feel me? So, yeah, that's that's cool, man. Quote yeah. that, man. Yeah. I like that third spin. Damn it. Studio, Ooh, that's a big one for you, boy. Man, what the studio mean to you? Shit, that's that's work. That's motherfucking. That's the happy place. That's the chill spot. God damn it, the motherfucking man cave. You feel me? Shit, that's 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 it though. That's the bread and butter, man. Get up in that motherfucker. Do what you gotta do. That's man. Shit, if you wanna make it, if you wanna do this shit, you better stay up in that motherfucker however you can, nigga. They got band lab out here. Jeez. Everything, nigga. It's it's a million ways to get to a studio, to 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 make the studio work for you. It's all type of shit. Niggas need vocals mix. Niggas need motherfuckers. These niggas that know how to make beats, don't know how to organize the motherfuckers, bro. These niggas out here making beats that want them chopped up. That ain't got certain shit to do it. So. It's a million ways to use anything, man. You understand what I'm saying? This niggas got rich with a butter knife and a motherfucking and a, and a motherfucking stove. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, think about that though. You know what I'm saying? This niggas that came from nothing real. that know how to work a butter knife and a stove and, yeah. and got rich. So if you get some technology the way the world is today, like a studio, nigga. Mm. You know, studio is everything, man. For real, for real. Stay in that bitch though. If if this is what you're trying to do. Just stay in that motherfucker. You might get your own motion. It might be not the one you 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 thought you was going to get compared to somebody else, but it might be the one for you, though. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The word segment with Tay Love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, bad question, man. What was it like being in the studio with Boosie? Damn, you took me back. You remember that shit. I do, bro. I, I got to ask you, bro. That shit was extra player, bro. Uh, yeah. That's, they're going to meet, though. Meet, I was working, bro. Meet called me like, man, bring 30 beats to the studio. I'm like, why? He ain't really tell me. He like, just bring your heart and shit. I come there, setting up, doing the shit. Then I just see plenty of motherfuckers coming in. But they bring like bottles and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he like, yeah, Boosie finna come here. I'm like, what? He like, he finna walk in here right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Like, this nigga he ain't give you a one up, one up. Like, he's that's like, love, that's he, love. He got a million beats on his computer. You know what I'm saying? So. That's love, bro. And nigga, I go to I go to, I go to charge my phone and bump it to the nigga. I didn't even know they was in the room. Yeah, I go to charge my phone, bump it to the nigga. Then he asked for my charger. You feel what I'm saying? And and shit. They tell him who I was. He shake hands. I go in the room. He came in there like nigga, I'm finna do this. He did a song with the song with Lil Lonnie, rest in peace. He did a song with Lil Dog that night. Yeah. So like, I'm finna go in here and do this, then bring that shit in here. I took the shit in there, you feel me? Folks went through, like, I think he got to the third one or some shit like that, and that was that. But he ain't never dropped that shit, though, yeah. so I oh, got so it. he dropped on one of your beats? He did, yeah. 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 hold on, we, man. I got the song, me and me got uh, the song. We real niggas, though. That. You know, he be here this weekend. I might have to get up with somebody or something. Like, I just want him to hear it. I ain't, you know, I ain't, if it's for game, we could do something together, but I ain't looking to get over on a nigga. But I think he yeah. forgot about it, and the shit he was saying in there, the shit he been making. If I think if he heard that shit he was saying in there, he might want to drop that shit. Yeah, he got to drop it. But we real niggas, bro. We ain't dropping folks shit. Yeah, you can't just no, drop. You nah, can't drop shit, man. You know what I'm saying I ain't coming at. Niggas, some shit like bro. that happened with me when I was uh, with Ice Wear Bezo. I got some shit with Bezo on my yeah. shit. I, you just can't drop that shit, nah, man. No, you can't, bro. Cause you don't never know when you could like. Okay, I could. I was supposed to get up with Boosie the year before when he did the song with Looney. You feel what I'm saying? They called me. I sent the files to the beat. But it was it was a lot of motherfuckers in the studio yep. prior to me going. So I just really told them like I, I I real life told them like man I I just get up with him when he come back or something, bro. That shit slap down the dog. That shit slap house though. Probably it. yeah, like <sighs> my baby like damn near like a year to the day because Boosie was coming like in May every year damn near some shit like that when he first got out. And he like, coming back here too. You know what I'm saying like a year to the day though. You know I end up in the studio with folks, so I don't be. You know, I don't force shit. I feel like at the time it happened was how it was supposed to happen. And me going there to fuck with him while 30 other people went there, I wouldn't have got his attention or my point across. So yeah. 
just shit supposed to happen how it's supposed to happen, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that I, was an alley you to a question because I, I want to know who you want to work with in the industry right now. Who, who you see yourself working with? Like, uh, who, who got that sound that you like? Oh, yeah, dog. Wanna, it's a nigga in LA named Big Sad. He running LA to me. Like, I want to fuck with bro because I be out there. I love his vibe, like how folks make music um, that I want to work with. Damn, bro, because I be so entrenched in this shit we doing here bro like i ain't yeah damn bro who i want to work with i ain't gonna lie i ain't never formally did nothing with baby drew so yeah. that's for sure i Jeez. think i want to do that like really really do that like come to the slap play you some they shit got like, that baby drew challenge going on and shit you I, did, see that shit? I did his verse on that oh yeah you shit. did his verse Just on that yeah 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 that's how my love is for yeah, bro from fine. a distance you know what i'm saying so but damn, and you freaked bro. the beat up too, nigga. Yeah, I heard that yeah. shit. <laughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta, you gotta put the take you know, love on that bitch. <laughs> but I can't lie, bro. To, to, I don't really feel like I want to work with nobody specific because I don't think the goal, like the mission here is done. So yeah, I feel like I need certain shit here to be a certain type of way before Hold I Hold on, go. before you move, I ain't, I ain't mean to cut you off, though. Yeah. Because I was going to ask you that. Like, what do you feel about the Milwaukee sound? And you was you was getting ready to go into that, yeah, man. Like, like I got a whole spot. Yeah. This, this it. <laughs> yeah, fast. Yeah. This it. This yeah. the sound, nigga. Any yeah. label that call, I, because I've been on phone with labels probably about they been calling for tax bro since last year, bro. So we I still maintain relationships though. I don't burn bridges or say no to some shit and then I ain't fucking with you. I would still be shooting questions to motherfuckers and they do the same. So this the sound. This what the motherfuckers know, this the sound, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, like, as far as what's gonna work for us. Yeah, and facts. I feel like it might change because it has changed. I think it's more so than just a sound, it's a vibe, it's an energy. It's, 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 it's like a cohesiveness with us. We use certain words, certain drawl on this shit, the way we move around, like we really do shit the right way. I feel like when it kind of presenting yourself when we get a chance agree. to. So this the shit, bro. I think the consistency is what's making it be what it be. And I feel like the moment we feel like we did enough to not do that, then it's gonna look different. But a lot of motherfuckers, talk bad about it because they really be on the outside looking in. They ain't one of the motherfuckers that's doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when you get some traction, you understand how important what you doing is because we travel, bro. Folks us, we travel. So on the outside looking in, niggas be stars and don't be knowing. They be, they be asking me about niggas. I be like, how the f like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all yeah. just, just went through 20 niggas from the city that y'all listen to. Right. You get what I'm saying? So... It's the consistency, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Just, just niggas being original, using our own words. The moment niggas started doing shit like that and sticking to the sound and the bounce, it's ours. You get what I'm saying? When it's a Milwaukee type beat, a Taylor type beat, tax beat type beat, chicken type, when it's that type of shit going on on the internet, mm -hmm. it's ours, bro. The dances, that shit is ours. All of that shit is ours. So yeah. I feel like it's a sound, but it's culture too. So that shit is important. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's no facts. So, uh, what's going on with um you and the squad? Like you got uh, G uh G -K -E, GKE, you got a Marmar, you got a Meech. Like, like who who throwing on a captain hat? Like who 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 steering the ship? Like what y'all got going on? What's 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 coming up? We see. I know it's a whole bunch of bosses at the table. Like yeah, I ain't trying to like you know. But I feel like, see, I can't speak for everybody, but I know like like. Me's finna drop a lot of music. He got some shit he done recorded and he finna drop and he got shit to sell. If y'all wanna buy a hit, go car, bro. He got that shit. We is not telling nobody he wrote it. Just go handle that business. You feel know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, I'ma just say with tax, bro, I ain't gonna lie. We pushing the line. We pushing the envelope, nigga. Like, nigga, we dropping. We finna drop something else. The streams is high as it ever been and it grow. The shit don't slow down. The views and shit don't slow down. The request for features and shows that shit is high as it ever been we yes, really lord. we mapping our rollouts that's what the, yes, that's lord. that's the thing we learned yeah. from labels yes lord you know what i'm saying but yes, me and lord. bro like we we, we want to see how far this shit could go with me just making sure whatever he need done get done you know yes, what i'm lord. saying so priority number one that's that's like besides what i do for myself that's up there with that because that shit is what's winning as well you got to support what's winning bro yeah and not try to jump off the boat you know what i'm saying I got my little nigga G Paper. He a young nigga, man. He, we got some hard shit. We just did a song with Skiller. That shit fire. You know what I'm saying? I did everything top to bottom, mix his shit, Skiller shit. Like we gonna drop that shit. We gotta roll out for that. That's why 
Motherfucker probably ain't heard all the bro shit, but he been dropping, putting shit out there, getting good response, like on some tester shit. And he going about it the right way. So I'm standing behind that and I'm stamping that. My little nigga Slim Santana, that's my young nigga. He stupid consistent. Slim come record eight songs a night in three hours and Jeez. like really run through him. You know what I mean? Off your beats? No, not oh, yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do certain shit off my beats, but one thing about Lil Bro. My process ain't as fast as his, but yeah, his yeah, process yeah. work for him. Absolutely. So I'm yeah, not the nigga sense. to force feed you yeah. shit if what you doing work for you, but yeah. I got real love for him and I see his vision. So, you know what I'm saying? He know how that I, we just talked about it though. We we definitely finna do three tapes on my shit and just see how they, they eat off of that though. I want to do it by the That'd end of the year. That'd be sick, Tay, bro. I want to do it by the end of the That'd year, bro, because Lil Bro really do eight songs in three hours and if I don't stop him here, Keep, I'm dead serious. So, Fat got a lot of shit dropping. He coming back out the woodwork. He been chilling, just running his business. But we been dropping so much shit. Him and Rudy got so much motherfucking music. You know what I'm Damn, saying? Damn, that'd be sick. Uh, hey, you gotta be talking your shit, bro. Your little nigga in there, he ain't, he ain't even talking no more. Yeah, bro. So bro like, he probably soaking the game. He man. soaking up game, bro. Like you was uh, oh, with man. Drew and was in the room. Yeah, man. You never <laughs> hey, know, man. So, how you feel about? If, if this has ever happened to you, like people still in your beats. I don't do the YouTube, so I mean, it's very seldom I put it up there. Now, if I put it up there, it just say free. I just say fuck it. But I'm every six months with that shit. Yeah, fast. I got it. I don't know. It, it's, I'm, I'm going to take blame too because it be communication. I'm, what niggas don't be understanding, bro, niggas don't be knowing all you niggas to make just to go sit down and make 10 beats for y'all. And I don't think niggas understand the complexity of making shit so much different to where a motherfucker might like each one or might just like one of them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I might send some shit I was shit one of them niggas, bro. Yeah. I, I reached out to you for beats. Bro. I might send some shit to different motherfuckers, though. He bite off of this one. I know I could take that off. They not fucking with this one. I'm going to keep them out there. But what some niggas do is wait, sit on it. I ain't got no beats. Go to the studio. I got some beats from Tay Love. So I might have kept moving, going about uh, my yeah, business because you yeah, sat on the yeah. beat for however long. Yeah, and this is now. And then now I come back, I done sold this motherfucker, I did some business with somebody, but now you you, you just got him. You probably don't, you ain't really check with me and ask what I did with it, so you use it. But yeah. I'm a real nigga, bro. I always offer a nigga a beat back, nigga. I'm, you know what I'm saying? This ain't dope, so nigga, you want your paper back? You know what I'm saying? We ain't, this ain't no screech shit, so I'm gonna go business like, you want two, three beats? You want your money back? It done happened to me where I got to take over the awkward moment, and I'm cool with that because I'm a man, folks, and I ain't finna lie about nothing. I was, I was, that was my next question. Yeah, like, how do you like, handle that as business, I'm man? I'm going to call you, Jeez. or a lot of niggas say something to me and probably think I'm not going to say nothing back, but it be, if I don't know, I don't know if I know. But like, when I, niggas will tell you, but when I'm playing them shit, I might play some of the hardest shit they ever heard in their life. I'm like, that shit so Yeah. So if that's yeah. my mentality when I'm in front of you, yeah. I just don't feel like I'm I'm not the real nigga to know I sold this yeah. motherfucking yeah, I just want you to hear here, my here I get down. But like I probably got to get better on my communication in some type of way. Sending these more like I don't make samples no more. Oh, okay, facts, 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 it's facts. The timing, like I, it, I ain't gonna lie, it's just yeah. timing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't make samples no more with purchase your beat on or a tag all the way through. I just send the motherfuckers. So that's probably me giving too much leeway on my behalf, mm -hmm. but somehow this shit get figured out, bro. But that's really what it be, though. Like, it be communication because niggas don't know, bro. I really try to make everybody yeah. shit yeah. to where you never hear it again. And I'm going to say the shit probably ain't out of, bro, out of, let's say, bro, out of 6,000 beats, bro, I probably done been through that maybe 10 times. Jeez. So I can say my ratio is great, even with out-of-town niggas. You know, out of time, like, I just had that recently, though. You know what I'm saying? And I have to take over the awkward moment. But yeah. I don't really go through that. You know so what do I'm you, saying? So do you as a producer, do you do you reach out to artists? Or do you, like, is it word of mouth? Or, it's like, usually, like what's the ratio with that? It's usually word of mouth. Uh, I say something to niggas. And when I say something, I'm saying that to invite you to come fuck with me. I ain't saying it to get no money off it. I'm saying to come fuck with me. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. But when you got shit going... And I'm building with motherfuckers. I try not to really jump off, off of, off of the course and go bring something else to put something else on my plate. Cause you can invite a nigga and y'all vibe, and now it's kind of an obligation for you to do what you invited him yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So 
It's, Man, that's that's the real shit I heard. That's why I like to meet motherfuckers in person, though. My DM's crazy, but but I like to. I mean, niggas in the gas station. I mean, and it's just it's better that way. I get the whole vibe of everything, for We just we all out here in the streets. This it ain't no really green zone in Milwaukee, folks. So no, we bumping for real. into each other everywhere. Hey, free so. little A, bro. Like, yeah. what's going on? Like, what's going on with little A, I don't man? No, I don't know. This time, this time, I don't know. But you know, that's that's my little nigga, bro. That's yeah, like facts, my facts. Y'all gonna y'all gonna do some shit when he get out, man? When he, he touch down. Every, I ain't gonna lie. We see we loaded up. A little bit, yeah. He was only just out for like four months, yeah. But you know, I you yeah, know I yeah. went and took care of that get, get around and love did shit with him, but yeah. I don't know, man. I, I hopefully once I figure out some more, I can be able to do some more for him. But that nigga know is where 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 it's gonna be your home, man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like with the outside, I see because it's be a lot of shit going on. Yeah. But when I tell niggas like this, what I'm gonna do, and this how I'm coming about you, and they reciprocate that. I ain't gonna stop, so yeah. that's my little nigga, bro. So yeah, you know. gonna see it all the way to the yeah, end, yeah, bro. So just whatever. like your music, man. So you, I see you dropping music, man. Yeah. So what's what's next? What's next for you, man? With with the music, man. Man, I think I'm. Finna... Damn it, this man talking. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> next tape, I, it's, 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 I ain't really got no name. I just got a cover. The cover so motherfucking hard. Yeah. I probably bro. I got a vault of a lot of shit, but as far as the, what I'm trying to do, I probably got like five songs. Did yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I usually drop in certain times, so my birthday coming up, I might just put it out there and see what happens. Yeah. Put a video out there, bro. Uh, bro, I just be making this shit. I do. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I do a lot of features. I don't know what niggas be doing with them. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot of features, Wait, though, bro. What? Yeah, bro. I do a lot of features, bro. What? A lot, bro. I got like 40 on my computer right now in the last two years. Hold on. Sure. And you got them? Yeah, I, but you know. Bro, you just... you the captain, man. Hold on. We supposed to be talking about this on camera, bro. You the captain, bro. Put yeah, that shit yeah, out, bro. Yeah, some of it Niggas I want to. Niggas playing in their ass. Some of it I want to, and I probably will. Some of that shit just was, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yeah. my shit, though, bro, this next one, I really ain't doing no features. I'm just from... You know, I, I talk a little crazy on that shit. And you don't so. think it's because like like niggas kind of like scared of you, bro? They kind of timid. Like, bro, I did no, a track I, with Tay Love. I expect him to take this. But take, I think take, take. I think it's just what a lot of niggas do when they get features. They get them and don't know what to do with them. Yeah. So now me advancing more, yeah, me advancing more in the production and and and, and shit like that. I think it's. It's going to bring more motherfuckers in. It's going to make my sound grow too type shit. You get facts, what I'm facts, saying? facts, 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 facts. That's yeah, real yeah, shit. Yeah, but I think this shit I got, though, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been dropping little shit, little snippets, you feel me? But I think I dropped a couple of singles this year. I dropped a tape this year. Last year, I dropped five. But I ain't going to lie. I dropped five tapes last year. And yeah, they, you was the only ass you know, last when year. When you're trying to grow, it's just... <laughs> Figuring out what you gonna do. Like, I know how to come back around. I done talked to labels. I done talked to distro companies. I text a and I got relationships. So now I kind of know how to do with my shit. Knowing the type of traction I got, I kind of know how to make it grow. So, yeah. feel me? Me working bro shit is showing me a lot too. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, fine. I think whatever, whenever I put this next one out, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be anticipated and motherfuckers gonna, y'all gonna fuck with it. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Drop it on that, yeah. So, um, Man, shout out to who you working with, man. Like, shout out the team real quick, man. Yeah, man. Of course, tag. Shout out my little nigga G Paper, my nigga Slim Santana, my nigga Low and Zelly just got back. We just made some fire, fire, fire on their ass, bro. Um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna just shout out the city, bro, because everybody come through the slap. I don't want to forget not a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody, though, like, for real, for real. Like, and niggas know, you know what I'm saying? Because. Shout out everybody that be fucking with me. Like, my niggas at the top, Chicken, Marmar, all them niggas. I'm grateful for bro now. And I'm even more grateful for the niggas that ain't on that level that still finding they self to spend some money with me. And trust me. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Right. So, everybody, folks, because I be watching niggas really, really go from being I right to cool to now they cold to now they just trying to figure out how to put it out there. So, I fuck with the whole process when I'm getting when I when I do get a chance to, to lock in with motherfuckers. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. shout out them niggas. But if you know you screaming slap house and, and, and you know you, you tied into the slap like in a real way, I'm doing shit for you or you coming through on a regular shout out to you. My nigga Book Fair B. I just wanna send shout out to bro, cause bro wants some like 
Motherfucker go look up Book Fear B2, man. Bro, shit so motherfucking hard. I mix everything, bro, do. Even if I don't produce it, he record this shit, send this shit to me, bro. He one of them niggas that's gonna be like a... I don't know, bro. He gonna be a sleeper heavyweight, though. But I know bro shit gonna do that, like... And a lot more niggas, bro. It's, it's yeah. like, like, lie, like when you dealing you with when you, when you know if it's four hundred artists out the city and you dealing with 200, 20, 250 for real, it's hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. To solidify it, to to put it in. But the, now the, you see why nigga be excited because yeah, I know fast. how much shit can yeah. really do. How you sleep I, at night, bro? Like, I don't damn. Sleep, bro. I, I go to sleep twelve, one. I be up at six. It's time. So to if go. somebody want to, if somebody want to, uh, like to link up with you, like how do they get in contact with you? Uh, of course the DM. I'm gonna get to it as as fast as I can. You feel what I'm saying? Right. The right best, here. the best way though is for real though, man. A reference sometimes, bro. That's like it. just That's a it. reference, and then or like a lot of times, motherfuckers would come with somebody. That's it. That's it. And now nah, we didn't sat, we didn't talk. You see That's the type it. of nigga I am. So when you double back, it's a little bit easier to be like, come through. You That's know what it. I'm saying? Cause, but that be it, bro. When I see niggas like, bro, just the other day I'm at the gas station. This a nigga. He asking motherfuckers if they do music. I ain't say nothing right away because, you know, everybody play crazy out here. Yeah. Another nigga telling me do music. They put their Instagrams out. I'm like, man, y'all follow me. I don't, like, I be knowing motherfuckers yeah. know what's happening with yeah. me, bro. Yeah. But their reaction was like, damn, I, it, threw, it yeah. blew me for a minute. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm on the way home from the taking in. Yeah. But these niggas down there, like, that be know, the made, music calling you too, dog. They made me like, feel some type of way, yeah. though. Like, damn, y'all was, because I ain't telling who I was. I just got on the phone. Yeah. Niggas looking at me like, nigga. You tapped in. I'm like, nigga. damn, that's what's happening, though. So that damn. be like, yeah, bro, on the G. Damn, that's crazy, bro. In case y'all just not tapping in, man, we with Taylor. We talking yeah. about this tap in, man. You, man, so, so so what's next, man? I ain't going to ask you the uh, five years or like what you, what's next? What you got? What you got? Uh, locked well, you in know, I'll be doing the management shit, bro, and I just play a role for every nigga that come and need advice on like consultation and some type of shit on how to go buy some business, a contract, booking the show, motherfucker want a feature, I'm gonna call niggas, put them on the phone, tell them their price, show price, whatever. So I think I wanna, along with the music though, keep growing that, that's gonna make the records part of the Slap House be more of a business, being yeah. that niggas know they could come to me and do some business and it's gonna be business how business is supposed to be. Yeah. I don't want shit extra, but what maybe what I'm supposed to get, but I'm not gonna make nothing if ain't nobody making nothing. And if you come with me to make something, we gonna have to make something, you get what I'm saying? So. That's just how I really I want this shit to grow like that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, motherfuckers is QCP don't sign every nigga, but he probably manages a lot of motherfuckers. We yeah. don't know they manage shit like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And at this point, bro, you CEO in this shit, bro. You Trying like you doing it, bro, you yeah, it's, it's a lot of times in this interview you said I done did it from the top to the bottom. Yeah, bro. From the from the bottom to the top. <laughs> that man, I said from the top to the bottom. But but vice versa. Yeah, but like, yeah, bro. you you doing that, man, and you and you looking at it as a business, man. So yeah, I bro. I wish you all the longevity, if oh, you will, God, man, for that. Bring it back. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, man? Yeah, so like yeah, man, we kicking it with Tay Love, man. Best of the best, TV. This has been a, a crazy interview, man. This yeah. is the producer segment, man. Kicking yeah. it with Tay Love. Man, you, you fuck with Fruity Loose? What's y'all shit? Yeah. What's y'all go to, man? I'm still on Fruity Loose. You still for FL, yeah. man. Team. FL. I'm on 10. They on 20. I'm on 10. <sighs> You better man. talk, bro. I got hey, we gotta got have 20. a part two, bro. Yeah, I got, I got the new shit, but I, I ain't gonna even say the song. But niggas, if you make beats, you know why. Everybody know what 10. the FL Ten do, bro. That sound is That's, something different, right, bro. I, we we, we giving the sauce away, <laughs> man. But listen, bro. Like, yeah, we kicking it with Taylor, oh, man. It's your boy Sir Quinn, best of the best TV, man. Appreciate you for coming to the show, Do man. That, bro. Hey, Anytime. Yeah, I owed him this, man. That's a whole different story, My too, boy. man. But yeah, if you already know what time it is. It's your boy Sir Quinn from Best of the Best TV. With Tay Love and Zaire, bro. You back there, Cloud. You hear the ad libs. Man, <laughs> hey, man, slap house for the win, man. Slap house for the new millennium and beyond, man. For real, though, man. Come get slapped out at the slap house. Yeah, and who is Tay Love, too, on uh, YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, that's who? on YouTube. Who yeah. is Tay Love? Just like that, like you asking the question for and for Tay Love on Instagram, man. For yeah. real, though. Come tap in, man. You already know, man. Sir Quinn, best of the best TV.com. Y'all tap in. We got yeah, that uh man. that showcase coming up too. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with that. That'll be a coming coming up soon on the flow. You already know what time it is. Yeah. Shh. Shut up. Good they still in the struggle. Hey. Flexing on hey. with money, no muscle. Hey. Uh, good, we using no rubber. Uh -huh. I tell them I serve it. Set up and hustle. Well, that's wrong and you niggas in trouble. The 40 state took ain't no time to no tussle. I'm fucking them going.
don't ain't no time to call. I tell them like, sir, shut up and hustle. Shut up, shut up and hustle. Shut up, shut up and hustle. Shut up, shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up.